Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise for Windows Forms. In this one, we are going to create a little falling distance calculator. Now, when an object is falling because of gravity, the following formula can be used to determine the distance the object falls in a specific time period. D equals one half multiplied by G multiplied by T to the power of two. Now, the variable in the formula are as follows. D is the distance in meters, G is 9.8, so it's a constant, and T is the amount of time in seconds that the object has been falling. Right, we want to create an application that allows the user to enter the amount of time that the object has fallen and then display the distance that the object fell. The application should have a function named falling distance. The falling distance function should display, should accept an object's falling time in seconds as an argument. And the function should return the distance in meters that the object has fallen during that time interval. I already have the form. User enters the time that the object has been falling. We click calculate button and the distance fallen is displayed in another text box. So uh, let's create the function first. They want us to call it falling distance so we can do a private and this one returns the distance so we can make it a double in case it's a decimal like 4.5 meters or something and let's call it falling distance and it accepts the double of time which is t the time the object has been falling so far and we can uh, now uh, perform the calculation which would be we create the double of d which is the distance that we are calculating and it equals and the formula is 0 0.5 multiplied by g which is the uh, the constant of 9.8 and multiplied by t which is the time that we are passing as an argument but the time is to the power of 2 so we'll use the math dot power of 2 and we pass in the t the time to the power of 2 so that performs the calculation uh, we don't have the variables declared yet so that's why it's trying to autocorrect uh, into some keywords uh, but this is the formula it performs the calculation the value is stored in d variable of double and we can now return the d which is the distance that the object has fallen now the variables we need in this case is g which is the constant of uh, 9.8 so i'm going to create since it's a constant i'm going to create it up here it's going to be a form a level variable constant double g equals 9.8 and that will give us uh, the g available across the any function or method that we would use in this uh, form but we only need it for this one so technically i could just declare it right here in the falling distance function but since it's a constant uh, we we should do them as a form level variable so they're available uh, all right so that's the formula we have the calculation performed uh, result is being calculated and returned now we have to process the result and we're going to process it from the calculate button click so i'm going to create a double of t which is the time that's the time that the user enters as an uh, into a text box and that we will pass as an argument to our function and since it's a text box that the user uses to enter it we can use try parse to make sure that the user entered valid number so if double dot try parse and it's the txt time dot text if it validates we'll get out our t our time otherwise if it doesn't validate we'll get a message box to show a message that uh, it's an invalid input and ask user to enter valid numbers so please enter valid time in seconds and like i said it's an invalid input so if it 
a valid input, then now we can uh, call our function, pass the t as an argument, and process the result of the function. So I'm going to create a double of d, again the distance, and we will call the function, the falling distance, and we will pass the t, the time, into it as an argument. And the result of the calculation from the falling distance function is returned and stored in a variable d. So now we can display the variable d, or the value of variable d, into our text box. So it will be txt distance fallen, that's the output text box, and we can display the t d, that's the distance, but let's format it to string and to a number. And uh, we can say, okay, let's, let's say the result is 1000, and we can say that it's actually meters, so it would, be, it would say 1000 meters at the end of the number, or after the number. Okay, so uh, we can run it. And so here is our form. Let's say that the object travels, uh, let's say, 120 seconds. Let's click Calculate. And it says that it traveled 70,560 meters. Or in other words, 70 kilometers, 70 and a half kilometers. So uh, let's validate that. I have a Google calculator here. So let's do the 120. That's the time fallen. The gravity, uh, in our case, it's 9.8. That's what uh, the constant is. Let's uh, execute, and we get 70 uh, point 560 meters. So the result is exactly the same. So our calculator works just fine. Okay, so uh, that's the exercise. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.